Hey guys, it's Bunny from BunnyCates.com. I just wanted to pop in and do a small book haul for you. I don't have a lot of books to show you this week, but I have some really good ones that I wanted to bring to your attention. So, let's get started. The first book I wanted to show you was Ad Nauseum by C.W. Lassart. I, If you've watched my channel at all, you know I love horror books. So, I was really excited. I saw this one and I was like, I have to have it. And they sent it. Doesn't the cover look amazing? So, make sure you go add this on your wish list if you're not ready to pick it up or pick it up. I do think it's available in ebook. Uh, yeah. It says exotic, erotic, gruesome, and gory. So, how's that for you? But make sure you pick that up. It's ad nauseum. Shadows of the Past, which is also a horror, I think this is horror thriller. It is by E.A. Jensen. Even in the shadow, her past haunts her. So that sounds really good. I can't wait. I love that there's like a little surge of horror books coming out right now. So it makes me happy. And then I was seeing... Um, I was actually... This woman is so sweet. She's on my Twitter... Her name is Lisa Lewis Moon. She sent me House on Butcher Harbor, which is um, ghost stories, like the woman in black, that you know, that, that type of feel. This is the House on Butcher Harbor. She also sent a bunch of swag for me to give away and uh, a giveaway copy. So I'll be hosting a giveaway for this whenever, probably... What is this, July? Probably like the first week of August because I have so many other books right now. This is pushed a little bit down in my TBR. But once I start reading it, I'll, or get close to reading it, I'll put the giveaway up for you guys and somebody can enter to win a copy. She also, is this mine or? She signed mine, but she also went ahead and did uh, sign the giveaway copy. For whoever wins it. So they'll not just be winning the book. They'll be winning a signed copy. And then I got in one book. I actually borrowed from a friend of mine. Um, one of my Facebook friends. Is taking a world religions. Course. And she just finished her class. So I asked her if I could borrow the text. Because I, even though I'm not taking this. As a college course. This kind of stuff. Just it's it. What's the word? It intrigues me. I like knowing why what makes people tick? What, why people believe the stuff that they believe? Does that make sense? You know, because I think your core belief system really influences on how you behave and how you carry yourself and how you treat other people and all of that. And if anything influences your core beliefs, it's your religion. Even people that are atheists do the things they do because they don't believe in and you know, a hereafter or whatever. So even atheists, even though they don't believe in a god or whatever, are they're guided by their beliefs. Their belief that there is no god guides them. And then I, I just, it all interests me. And I think everything we do in life, it all comes back to our core beliefs. And if religion is the base of your core beliefs, then if I can understand other religions, I can understand other people. Does that make sense? Oh, it makes me sound like a freak nuts that I'm reading this and I'm not taking it in college. But I can't wait to read it. Uh, my friend Jen. Um, hi, Jen, if you're watching. My friend Jen on Facebook loaned it to me and I'm going to read it. And I'll send it back to her as soon as I get finished. So, yeah, that was it. That's four books. All I have to show you this time. I know I've not been here for two weeks and I come back with a book haul of four books. I promised my husband I wouldn't, like, do book stuff. So I didn't even, like, look at books to buy. I saw some at Big Lots, and I didn't get them because I didn't want to get in trouble. But now vacation's over. Big Lots is just down the road. You know what I'm saying? I think I might even have to go to Barnes & Noble because I've not bought a book in two weeks. <laughs> anyway, I'm just being silly. Um... If you've done a book haul video or did like a in my box or on my shelves or whatever, whatever. If you've got some new books lately, tell me down below so I can go and look. I've not been here for two weeks, so I don't even know what everybody's grabbing right now. Like, what's the new it book or whatever. 
So yeah, comment below. Thanks for watching. See ya. I just wanted to hop in. Hop in. That was so bad. I edit that out.